Hello and welcome back. So, today we are going to be doing a a throwback review to something that I have never reviewed before and it is the very, very, very first proper Transformer I ever got because um, for Age of Extinction, in stores there were no such thing as Voyager classes or Deluxe classes or Leaders no, 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 we got like the uh, little gimmicky toys, you know, like the, the ones that were like the flip and change ones, you know, like the crosshairs who had like the big fist would punch, you know, so we, we, we got those kind of things. So when the last night came around, uh, those were the first proper toys we got. So today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Scavenger. I'm just messing with you. So well, we're gonna we're gonna review the last night deluxe class Berserker, and he is catching on the table. There we go, Berserker, aka Crankcase. Now he is pretty much the exact same as uh, as Crankcase. This is really ticking me off with those. There we go. Um, yeah, he is pretty much exactly the same as Crankcase visually. Um, obviously alt mode doesn't matter, alt mode he could be any of them, because all three dreads turned into the other uh, black SUVs. Now, I, ha um, what's his name, Crowbar did actually come to stores, I think, <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately I was not able to get him at the time, um, so this is the only dread I have, and obviously no one thinks of this guy as Berserker, everyone uses him as a crankcase, especially considering that the Studio Series version of crankcase is basically just crowbar repainted uh, pretty terribly, might I add. So, uh, just putting his accessories off to the side, just look at the head sculpt. I mean, obviously, this is supposed to be Berserker, however, Berserker in the movie, just like all the other Decepticons, including Megatron, he was just a joke. He he was an absolute disgrace. All he did, he he had one scene. He was tied up, and he just said, "I'll suck your brains," and then he just screamed. And this is the only Decepticon who actually could have been, you know, threatening and not a joke. And they decided, no, 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 no. we need a comedic Decepticon group because that's what everyone wants. Screw Berserker, get Onslaught. So. Freaking idiots. <laughs> so, I mean, you can see the, the dreads for Crankcase look pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can see the X there, which is actually movie accurate. Um, I remember when I well, when I got the figure, I was really annoyed at that. But then all these years later, obviously, you know, when I watched the movie, that is actually accurate. So, there are the hands. Uh, you can see his fingers are orange um, and... Like the elbow but here yeah, has some has some red on it um you can see the legs here he does have the uh, the chicken leg um but that is accurate so can't complain um and then obviously i mean if we turn it around to the back you can see just back cable however for some reason on on um i'm just gonna keep calling him crankcase uh for him it's not that bad of course you can see the uh the bumper well it's the bumper, right? <laughs> I always get the bumper and the fender confused. I'm not a car person. <laughs> so, uh, you just have the front of the vehicle there uh, as his uh, his butt flap. So, there you have that. He, he looks pretty cool. Um, sometimes getting him to stand can be a slight pain, but eventually we will get there. So, for comparison, for his Dark of the Moon friends, um, here he is with Shockwave, and honestly, Shockwave looks, <laughs> Shockwave looks so big compared to him. I mean, obviously, this is a lead, oh, sorry, this is a deluxe class. This is, it's priced as a leader class, but we all know it's a Voyager. So, there he is with Voyager Shockwave. And here he is with 
leader Megatron. Uh, Megatron, I'll be honest, I've kind of come around to this figure uh, after so many years. Because before, uh, he was pretty annoying to transform, however. I I've been enjoying transforming him recently, so uh, review coming eventually. God knows when that'll be. So, articulation-wise, the, uh, the head is on a, a very loose ball joint. Oh, let me just... Sorry, <laughs> I just raised the camera. Um, the head is on a very loose ball joint, like it'll just easily just pop off. Uh, I have been trying with nail polish to just tighten it up, but it doesn't really help. So the head can tilt, can tilt that way. Uh, it can't, you can look up about that far before the ball joint starts to give. Um, the hinge here does allow the head to kind of come forward, which actually is how it's supposed to be in the robot mode. The other arms are on a ball joint, so they can do a full 360. These little bits can hinge um, in and out if you want to. The other elbow does give 90 degrees of bend there. And if you come underneath here and move this, the hand can move in due to transformation purposes, if that serves any purpose to you. Uh, he does have an ab crunch, as you can see, if you need it. All right, and uh, basically he does have an ab crunch if that serves any purpose to you, but it's mainly for transformation. The legs can kick uh, that far, all right, they go back. Uh, not, well, not that far before the butt plate starts getting in the way. Uh, it can't really move out that much due to the uh, the wheel there. Uh, you do have thigh rotation on a mushroom peg there. The knee, we have a bend at the knee. And then the uh, the little shin bit, um, it kind of just locks there. So you can move forward that far and then obviously it can't go really go back. Uh, and then the little heel spur can go in and out. So, yeah, um, and for accessories, obviously, as shown earlier, he comes with the little spiky, um, things <laughs> that he threw, uh, at Ironhide. Well, well, actually, Crowbar threw them, but, yeah, still. Um, so you can, obviously, just take them and put them in his hands. They fit really nicely. So, there, I mean, that really... That makes him look a lot cooler, in my opinion. Usually the accessories, like weapons and stuff, sometimes they honestly don't make much of a difference to the figure's look, but I think that this is one of the, just the best. So, now for transformation. It is kind of, um, it, it, it's pretty simple, but if you do one thing wrong, then it's just automatically screwed, <laughs> you know? Um, and especially like when we're in vehicle mode, um, you can see, that it is very much like the SS Jazz, where if you tab one thing in, something else could come up. But that's enough talking. Uh, <laughs> so basically what we're going to want to do is just r bring this up. You're going to fold this piece out. Uh, just bring the camera up a little bit here. Right. Uh, then you're going to fold the hand in. Right. And then there's that tab, which is going to go into a slot there on the inside of the little spike thingy. So you're just gonna wanna swing this around without decapitating him. Uh, just bring that around and this will tab in. Right, okay. Then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just bring the arm up, flip this out, flip the hand in. Okay, and this piece obviously is on a ball joint. So you can pretty much get a, a pretty, pretty good range of motion with it. So there you go, and then uh, as you can see, the arms are on this. Well, these <laughs> uh, they're on this uh, hinge bit, so you can just bring these up, right? Uh, I am undoing god knows what on the back here, but uh, hopefully, I didn't break anything. I really hope so. Uh, and basically, the head is supposed to be hinged upwards for vehicle mode so it i mean it's not really that noticeable but it needs to be hinged as high as you can put it right now we're going to move on to the legs so i can bring the camera back down <laughs> uh we're just going to want to straighten the legs so straighten the knee uh just put this bit in take the heel spur and fold that in 
and now you're going to want to rotate it at the knee right and you're going to bring this out and this panel will just stay like this for now now we're going to do the same thing on the side bring that out fold that out fold the heel spur in rotate it and now you're going to want to utilize the ab crunch right and this tab is going to go into that sl oh, sorry that slot there uh, and then there's a tab there you can't really see it that well but that is going to go into that slot there right and I remember back when I first got this figure this was the part that I always struggled with so you're just gonna bring that in and then tab the section in and actually <laughs> that was pretty easy so uh, we're just gonna do the same thing on the side here just bring that in and then tab this in like so and there you have that all done now you're going to want to come to this bit and just unfold this right actually actually just leave it for now you're going to just bring this whole um back piece back right you can see that there are two hold on there are two tabs there which go into these slots so you're just going to unfold and unfold and now you're going to bring this over and you can see that these tabs on the side are going to go into those slots on the inside of the door bits so you're just going to want to do that bring these bits up and around like so okay <laughs> we can fix everything once we're done here then you're going to want to bring this down like so and you are just going to double hinge this but in until it tabs now these are the side panels this tab is going to go into that slot there and this tab it's not very secure but it's going to go into the slot um so just try and also try and straighten the wheels as much as possible because that definitely plays a big part in how the vehicle you know cleans up so just going to tab that in tab that in you can see that it is just hit or miss sometimes with this guy. But overall, there you have Berserker in his vehicle mode. And he looks absolutely awesome, seriously. Um, I really do love this. So now if we just come in and take a closer look at, you know, the paint and stuff. You can see the, the Chevy logo there. Uh, it has some paint scratches on it, but honestly, it's probably not Hasbro's fault. I've had this toy for five years and it's been stuck in a box. And actually, I just realized I can probably do the biggest Transformers video I am ever going to do. Oh my God, this is a crazy idea. I literally just thought of this. So I have a box of Transformers and it's all kinds of random stuff. So I actually kind of want to do an unboxing of all that. Uh, once I'm done here, so you can take a look. <laughs> oh God, I'm actually really excited to do that now. So uh, you can see the little, well, the headlights here are painted in white. Uh, that unfortunately is scratched, but on both sides there, uh, you can see oh, on the top here you can have the, you have the windshield wipers. Uh, all the windows and stuff are made out of well painted blue, which honestly I'm completely fine with. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much. You can see. The Decepticon logo there. Um, it is kind of unfortunate that this hinge here is grey. Um, I wish that they could have, you know, painted it black like the rest of the vehicle, so it wouldn't just stick out like that. Um, but you can see all the stuff here. On the back, you can see the Chevy logo. Uh, even even this little bit here, this little blue bit. That's <laughs> even that's there. So I mean, that's pretty awesome. Uh, you can see the tail lights. Obviously, these are not red. Uh, these are kind of like a pinkish color. Uh, and obviously, the other side is the exact same on that side, even with the Decepticon logo. Right, so there you go. Now, before we get to the comparisons, I will automatically just say that this figure is like in alt mode. He's, he's way too small. He, he's too small because this is an SUV. This thing is huge. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean... In toy form, he's just, he's microscopic. Now, uh, he does roll, actually. I never show this in videos, but the f he actually rolls really, really well uh, if you get things aligned. Obviously, 
Looking at the bottom, you can pretty much see everything. You can see his hands in there, you can see his feet, and of course you can see his head. Now, um, in terms of weapon storage, that is actually what uh, hides the head. So, you can see on these little spike things, there is this bit that sticks out. And what do we have on the bottom here? These little bits molded in. So what we can do is just try and get these stuck in there. Right, and then we can do the same for this one, if it will let me. <laughs> um, so, there there we go, that's, that's it. And it, okay, well, it's catching on the tablecloth, but uh, you can see it, it doesn't hinder the rolling whatsoever. Um, you know, obviously excluding the fact that this is a freaking cloth. <laughs> uh, but on a normal surface, it does not hinder the rolling whatsoever. So that is how you should display it. Now, for the comparisons, here he is with uh, with Stinger. I mean, you can see just just how out of scale he is. But remember, this is even with the last night figures. I was gonna say this is the last night line. This is the SS line. So even though he should technically be in scale with the last night figures, he he's not. He still should be bigger. Uh, but anyway, there is him with a Pagani Hera. And here he is with his buddy, uh, with his buddy uh, Sideswipe. You can see just how much bigger Sideswipe is than him. So of course this is not to scale. Um, I don't have Ironhide, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, eventually, I can get the uh, the five pack because that has, I mean, that has Optimus, that has um, it has Ratchet, it has Jazz. Who Jazz is the only figure in that five pack that I actually have. Uh, it comes with a Bumblebee and Iron High. No, wait, I said that already. I don't know. <laughs> but basically, um, yeah. So that, that set, honestly, is a really good bang for your buck there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So now uh, let's just transform him back. So the first thing you're going to do is just remove the weapons. Um, and actually, there is something I want to show because I only found this out uh, this morning. So. Apparently you can take these side bits and like plug them into the spaces here. Um, I've never actually tried it, so... I mean, you can do it. Um, okay, it's not secure at all. Never mind, don't do that. Okay, so uh, for transformation back, the first thing you're gonna do is just take this uh, front bit and just bring it down like this. You're gonna wanna come to the side panels and just unplug them and you're gonna wanna hinge it forward there, because obviously that is a double hinge. So you're gonna do the same thing on this side, just bring that out, and there we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just bring this whole thing up and collapse the windshield against the top here. Now we're gonna to come to the back and just split this section, and we're gonna bring this whole bit out like this, and right, we're gonna fold this in, then fold this in, and honestly, this, because these bits are so thin, it just, it's the only cheap feeling part of the figure. And obviously those tabs are gonna go into those slots. So you're just gonna wanna bring this and just squeeze it. Um, there you go, you could probably hear it uh, on camera. So I'm just gonna bring that up. I mean, you, he's not really, he doesn't look like he's having fun. <laughs> so, um, right, now you're gonna wanna untab the legs from the in from the arms so just wiggle that free okay and then you can do the same thing here now you're gonna want to bring the whole bit down and flatten it don't know why it's not focusing there we go <laughs> right now you can fix the legs so you're gonna want to straighten the legs uh there we go right now you're gonna bring this section forward bring the heel spot out, and there you have one leg all done. You do the same thing on the side, bring that out, bring the heel spot, and there you have his legs all done. I have to raise even higher. <laughs> right, now what we're gonna do here is just bring the arms out to the side, and we are now going to take these bits and kind of just swing them around, uh, like that, you're gonna wanna bring the hand out, and this bit does not tab in, it just folds up like this. 
Uh, now I am going to show something you can do with that just now. Uh, then the same thing on the side. So you're going to do that. Bring that out. Hook that in. And there you have Berserker back in his robot mode. Now, uh, on the arms, if you don't like the panels, then Hasbro have done something that allows you to do it. Uh, to fix it, and you know what that is? You literally just... <clears throat> I said, <laughs> you literally just... Okay, it's not working. <laughs> but basically, it, it works easier on this side. There we go. <laughs> so, you can see that creates a much sl sleeker look. Um, can I seriously not do it? There we go. <laughs> okay, so, uh, if you don't like these bits... Uh, on the arms then you can do that to make him sleeker now I forgot I don't know which way this goes but uh so it goes like that and then yeah all right so basically uh these two tabs go into those slots uh there so that's that's kind of what allows it to do that um yeah so you can just do that I really don't know if that's how it's supposed to go but hey next time I transform the figure I will figure out whether I was right or wrong although let's be honest I was probably wrong so there you go so there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is my very first throwback review of any Transformers figure now of course this was like I said several times the very first proper Transformer I ever owned and I was honestly very, very happy with this. Even now, I am still really happy with this. I think that this figure definitely holds up. My only issue is obviously the the loose ball joint for the head. Um, but now, obviously, I have put some nail polish on it. It helped like a little bit, but it, it just it didn't really. So, um, yeah, I mean, it obviously, it's a pretty fun figure, you know, and if you want a crankcase, Definitely, definitely get this guy because he he looks perfect for a crankcase. And even if you just want, you know, like him in the SUV form just to fill out that dread trio, because obviously we don't have a hatchet figure and I'm, I don't even know if there was an original Dark of the Moon hatchet. So, yeah. But overall, even though it is five years late, I suggest that if you ever actually do get the chance, pick this figure up. He is fantastic. Right, so there was the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Berserker. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and goodbye. Weapons down, and we'll let you escape with your dignity. You will die screaming like your friends. Autobot Sideswipe. As a member of the Autobot Resistance, you are a traitor to Cybertron, and I hereby sentence you to death. Pew! No!